ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. You've clicked onto our Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 15th day of March. Got an active convective day ahead. Let's look outside this morning with our Skycam network. We'll start with a few River City shots. There's the view from Decatur up in the uh, Tennessee Valley on the mighty Tennessee River. Demopolis on the Tom Bigby. Had some pretty good rain there uh, uh, this morning. In fact, it's raining as we speak now, as you can see from the uh, wet streets there. And from uh, Tuscaloosa, some rain beginning to fall as, uh, of course, that city is on the Black Warrior River. All of the rain in West Alabama in advance of that spring storm system that is beginning to lift out of Texas. We've got a tornado watch for much of central and south Mississippi and a large part of southeast Louisiana. That's until 11 o'clock this morning. You can see that rain falling over west Alabama, over Tuscaloosa, Demopolis, Utah, places like that. But the uh, really big storms are uh, down over Louisiana. And we have to wonder now, just one possibility today, if that uh, big convective mass over Louisiana rolls through south Alabama and cuts off the inflow to north Alabama reducing our rain. That's a possibility, just one thing to think about today. Uh, in terms of the uh, convective outlook, there is a slight risk of severe weather over all of Alabama today and into the adjacent states. And, of course, tomorrow that shifts on to the east. Places like uh, Jacksonville and Savannah and Charleston are involved. Rain should be pretty good if we're not cut off. Uh, rainfall amounts of 1 to 2 inches likely around here. Heaviest stuff, though, down south uh, New Orleans, Mobile, and Dothan, where they could see uh, two to three inch rains down there. Uh, modeling today, this is at one o'clock. A segment of the trough lifts out, a segment of it hangs back, and uh, it should be wet, no doubt about that. The precipitable water values are very high, over two inches. And if we don't get cut off from a South Alabama massive rain, again, a good soaking likely today. Severe weather, uh, the capes are just marginal. A lot of clouds and, and rain, that could keep us fairly stable today, which I think will really reduce the severe weather threat. This is the instability at 7 o'clock this evening, and this is suggesting cape values of really under 750 joules. And Now, the helicity values have come up on this run. This is the uh, wharf, I, I should mention. So there could be a few rotating updrafts if we get enough instability for storms. So we'll we'll have to watch all of this. But, uh, again, I don't think it's going to be one of these big red-letter severe weather days. Tomorrow, the uh, better rain shifts down into south Alabama with the front coming through here. And uh, I pretty much dropped the mention of showers, although the GFS hinting we might better mention some chance of a lingering shower. But I really think much of the day will be dry for the northern half of the state. Saturday looks beautiful, sunny, and comfortable. Sunday, again, we've got a little trough rotating down the backside, a little uh, impulse running down the backside of the upper trough. And at the surface, you can see most of the rain with that feature northeast of Alabama, Knoxville, Tennessee, and points northeast. And again, we have left out any mention of rain Sunday. We'll call it partly sunny. Monday of na uh, next week looks dry and comfortable. Now, this run is backed off on the idea of rain uh, Tuesday of next week. This is Tuesday, and this has us dry. It's got a surface low developing north and holds it off until Wednesday now with the cold front coming in here. So timing is uh, changing for next week. And again, you know my deal. We're not going to change our forecast based on one run. If this keeps up on the 12Z run, we'll make the adjustment. And then uh, Thursday of next week, at this point, looks dry. We note that uh, system coming out of Canada. And then on uh, Friday of next week, that looks wet. So Instead of the showers on Tuesday and Thursday, this run suggesting the showers would be Wednesday and Friday. And again, let's get the 12Z run in here, and we'll take a look at that and make adjustments if needed. Um, this is Saturday, May 24th. Look at that trough. Goodness gracious. That's, uh, that'd bring down some pretty cool air if this happens to be correct. That's the uh, beginning of the Memorial Day weekend. And again, we've seen all kind of looks out there. Confidence is low in any solution out here. And then at the end of the cycle, May the 30th, as we get set to sail into summer. Oh, that looks like summer. Big old 588 ridge centered west of here. That means the hottest weather back off to the west. A trough over the northeast and a backdoor cold front tries to come in here. But again, this is all voodoo out here. We've seen so many different solutions. It is hard to uh, 
be specific, obviously, at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.